In this video, we're going to look at PowerShell Universal Environments. An environment is a PowerShell configuration that you can use for various features inside PowerShell Universal. You can set environments for APIs, uh, individual scripts and schedules for jobs, or individual dashboards. By default, when you start PowerShell Universal, you're going to have some default environments created. Uh, those environments are based on the PowerShell versions that PowerShell Universal is able to locate on your system. So, for example, on my system here, you'll see that I have PowerShell 7.1, uh, which is located in the Program Files folder. And I also have PowerShell 5.1, uh, which is located in the system directory um, on my Windows machine here. You can also create new environments by clicking Create New Environment. Uh, this will allow you to create a new name, so we'll just call this PWSH, and you can specify a path to the PowerShell executable. For example, I could just do uh, PWSH.exe. It can be an absolute or a relative path. From there, you can specify things like arguments, variables, modules, and the PS module path. Arguments allow you to spe specify uh, arguments that go into the PWSH um, executable. So for example, if I want to set the execution policy, I could do that uh, right here in the arguments text box. And I could set the uh, execution policy to unrestricted. You can also specify variables. So variables come from the automation setting. Uh, by default, all variables are imported into all environments, but you could also um, limit the variables that are imported into your environments via this variable setting. You can also use wildcards, such as the star character. Um, additionally, you can specify modules. These are modules that are either by name that are on the PS module path, like the Azure, um, the Azure module or the Active Directory module, or you can specify modules by full path name uh, if you do have your modules stored in a particular folder. Finally, if you have a bunch of modules stored in a particular PS module path, you can append a value to the PS module path using the PS module path setting. When I click OK, I'm now going to have um, another environment available. So there are several places that environments can be used. Um, in APIs, we actually do not have a setting to set the um, environment in the API or in the admin console, but I will show you how to do that inside the settings.ps1 file. With automation, you can actually set the environment in a couple different places. First, you can set the environment when you create a script. For example, if I create this test script, I can select my environment down here. So if I wanted to run it in uh, PowerShell 7 or PowerShell 5 or my new PWSH environment, I can select that environment and when I click OK, this particular script will use that environment um, whether I click Run here or if I actually create a schedule for that script, uh, it is actually going to use that environment as well. So if I click Run, you'll see that it's going to run that script using my PWSH environment, which is listed in the job here. Additionally, uh, if I do want to create a script that does not have an environment in assigned, I can click uh, test2, and I'll just use the default environment here. When a script is created with a default environment, that means you can select the environment when that script is run. So for example, if I wanted to run this particular script in PowerShell 5, I could do that by clicking run. And you can see it runs this particular script using Windows PowerShell. Scripts like this one that do not have an environment set can also set environments for schedules. So if I wanted to run a schedule using the Windows PowerShell environment, I could do that by selecting environment inside the schedule dialog. So if we ran this script every five minutes, it would run it in Windows PowerShell. You can also create a schedule using an alternate environment for the same script. So if I schedule this script again, I could select PowerShell 7 and it would actually create two different schedules. Um, in addition to automation, you can also sked, or, uh, set uh, environments using dashboards. So by default, you're just going to use the default environment when you create a dashboard. But I can also specify Windows 7, 5, or my PWSH environment that I created. If I were to select this and create my new dashboard, it's going to run that particular dashboard using this environment. So for example, this is using um, PWSH, which is PowerShell 7.1 in my environment. So now it started this dashboard, and you can see it's running PWSH. There are a couple settings that um, you can set to configure a couple other environments inside uh, PowerShell Universal. 
and we're going to do this inside the Visual Studio Code extension. So I have my Visual Studio Code extension configured to my PowerShell Universal um, instance that's running here on my local machine. And if I click Configuration, you'll actually be able to click your environments and edit that file. And you'll see here that I have a couple different environments um, in this particular PowerShell Universal instance. First is my 7.1 uh, instance, which points to that full path, followed by my Windows PowerShell um, instance that points to my system directory, and then finally that PWSH instance that I created um, using the admin console with the execution policy set to unrestricted. So one thing that I can do um, inside my settings.ps1 is actually configure the API environment. So all API endpoints actually use the same environment, so to configure that environment, what you can do is you can specify API environment, and then you can specify the environment name. So in this case, I want to use PWSH. So if I save that, what it's actually going to do is it's going to reconfigure PowerShell Universal to use PWSH environment for my um, API endpoints. So if I create a new endpoint, we'll just say version. And then from here, what I'm actually going to do is edit this particular endpoint to return the PS version table. So I'll just do PS version table here, save that, and execute that particular endpoint. And you'll see here that it's actually running uh, the PowerShell 7.1.0 uh, version of PowerShell. And that is my PWSH um, environment that I configured. So that, in that way, you can actually configure APIs to either run in Windows PowerShell or using PowerShell 7. Additionally, you can set the security environment. By default, we use the integrated environment inside of PowerShell Universal, so it doesn't actually start an external PowerShell process for um, things like authentication and authorization. But if you want to select a particular security environment, what you can do is you can use the security environment uh, parameter for set PSU setting. From here, I can actually specify uh, PWSH or any environment name that I want to use for this particular setting. Now, when I log in into PowerShell Universal, what it's actually going to do is it's going to use the PWSH environment um, to log in. So if you want to use Windows PowerShell or some pre-configured environment based on modules that you're loading, you can do that um, by using the uh, PWSH security environment uh, parameter of set PSU setting. So um, the Environments settings allows you to run various parts of PowerShell Universal in different versions of PowerShell with different configurations for variables, modules, um, arguments, and, and then you can assign those to those uh, resources inside PowerShell Universal. So in this video, we went over environments inside PowerShell Universal.